Hey, in this video, I'm going to build myself a DIY cardboard cheap paint pot holder because I ain't spilling my washes and things are too expensive. Hey, welcome back everyone. I'm Nick and this is Craft Nicks, a tabletop hobby channel about crafting everything from terrain to the game. And in this video, I'm going to make myself some cheap paint pot holder out of cardboard because I ain't got a 3D printer and I don't need to spend money on this. It works. That's it. So, and I ain't spilling my washes. Things are too expensive. So, we're going to go ahead and hit the table. I mean, this self-explanatory. You guys can figure it out how I did it, but we're going to talk about it. That's about it. Remember, if you guys like what I'm doing here, if you guys like this video don't forget to hit subscribe hit the bell hit the thing hit the top pop 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 hit it down below whatever and you know if you guys see anybody that needs this out there please don't hesitate to share me out there i love the hobby let's do it all right so to start off everything i did here was just off the cuff i just didn't really want to measure and be precise it just served the purpose for me so what I did was I took an actual paint pot and I went ahead and drew it and to see where the outline was and then I cut at the tangents I just kind of trimmed it off where the circles kind of were. It's not exact, it's not perfect square but with tolerance you can kind of shape it however you want. Now I knew I wanted to double it up. It was just a call I made on the fly. It was just to give me more surface area when I could make the glue connections. I would have done the hot glue. I just didn't feel like <laughs> laziness kicked in. All right, laziness kicked in. I didn't feel like hooking it up. I had the tacky glue there, and I went with the tacky glue. And I had time to let it dry and stuff like that. It was not an issue. But I would have went with the hot glue instead to speed things up if I needed it on the fly. But it's real simple. I mean, I just made the base. Then I started cutting it to the base. I mean, I, I didn't measure anything. And then I made two sides, even sides and went ahead and made that connection. The key, the key point to this is to make the footing, is to give it some leverage so that even if you pull it, even if you push it, and I'm talking about when your brush is in the pot, that when you move it, it still stays stable on a footing. And you're gonna see here that I'm gonna make this footing now. And what I do is I just give it some extension. I give it wherever the paint pot's gonna be, it's gonna be sitting in the middle, and then I make the extension there. And that's going to give it the leverage to resist when you, you know, in the speed of it, when you're painting and washing, the speed of it is going to resist. Now, if you have different sizes, I know there's a FW line there. And if you have different sizes, you can make and custom make these to the different sizes or whatever you need to make and however you need to do it. Basically, bottom line is if it's something that you're dipping in, a, in an inkwell or something like that, you know, the, the action of putting it in is gonna increase the chances of you tipping it over right and that's what this is gonna prevent so one of the things I do when I'm gluing is I kind of angle it the glue points and then push the glue into it like a sandwich like you know when mayonnaise is in a sandwich you hold it at one end and when you bite into it it goes out the other ends right and that's kind of the thing I wanted to push it into the craft itself and not let it spread out the sides and that's it it's just a whole lot of tacky glue and holding tacky glue and holding at least for me you use hot glue whatever glue you want to use it's fine it's cardboard so it's gonna eat it all up in whatever the case is and then hold this whole project again took 10 minutes I just cut it up I think it was the box that I actually bought the pack of washes in might have been I don't know anyway and this is me and using it. Just a quick something. I had these stone golems. I always wanted to put this turquoise color on there. I bought this a long time ago and I decided, you know what, let me just paint it. This is really to highlight the paint pot in the holder. When you're dipping it in, when you're moving it around, that footing is gonna act as leverage so that you don't tip it over, it doesn't fall. Unless you're really aggressive with it. And if you're really aggressive, then make your footing longer <laughs> and give you more space to do it. You could do multi, you know, handles too. You can make definitely, you know, more cubicles. Just increase your footing by it. Now, 
I wanted to make another one for the taller paint pots, the taller washes, uh, because the other one was for the, the smaller ones. So I decided, you know what? I have some scraps of XPS foam. They were right on the side there. I decided, let me just use a different material. It's the same concept. The same concept is creating a footing that will allow you to be as aggressive as you need to be. The more aggressive you are, the larger your footing should be. And then again, tacky glue. Should have used super glue. Super glue would have sped this up, but I had the tacky glue on hand. Didn't feel like plugging it in, laziness, all that stuff that I already said before and made excuses for myself. So that's it. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. I'm not gonna fall victim to paint spilling. Not me. I've seen too many horror stories. Too many victims out there. But in the end, this also took about 10 minutes. I know the cardboard one definitely took 10 minutes because that was the whole video. I didn't, I don't think I cut anything. I have to go back and double check that. I have to fact check myself. But I believe I didn't really cut anything. I let the whole video slide through for that. And you saw the whole thing sped up. The whole thing took 10 minutes. This one I don't remember, but it can't take too much longer than 10 minutes too. Yeah, I did. That's a morning craft right there. Had my coffee. Actually, I had my coffee. This might be in real time. <laughs> nah, that's a stupid joke. Anyway, I went ahead and started washing this wagon that I had just to test out the paint holder, and that thing wasn't budging. But again, I'm not too aggressive when I'm when I'm doing it. So. Oh, look at that. The Flail Snail has brought me mail. If you guys like any homebrew content, the Flail Snail got you. You can find them on Coffee, Ko-Fi, however you pronounce it, but they do everything from magic items for specific classes, which is my favorite. They do archetypes, they do creature bundles, and they even do whole classes themselves. So if you're looking for a variety, if you're looking for a change up, or if you're looking for something new for your NPC, go check them out. I'm going to put all the links in the description below and just give me a shout out. Let them know that I sent you. It's not much more to say. Get yourself and make yourself a DIY paint pot holder. You don't got to spend money. I mean, you could 3D print it nowadays, right? If you have a 3D printer, but everyone got cardboard.